Maybe we're in a high yeah. So today's podcast episode is going to be in this beast. <sighs> we, we are in Dubai, in Rolls Royce. Mm. Fitting. Yeah. Oh. Life, life isn't bad. <laughs> life is not bad at all. Uh, not bad. Yeah, Life's always good. So, yeah, we can have well. good, good backup. <laughs> Lock lunch. Four. 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 <laughs> Finally. Finally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Finally. It took Paul three days to get here. Yep. <laughs> we were all supposed to be on Monday. Leaving Monday. Yeah. Arriving Tuesday. Okay. Yeah. So what happened? Car broke down. Ah. And the worst part of the story was we were actually headed to the wrong DC airport anyway. We figured that out in hindsight. Yeah. Were you supposed to fly out of Dulles? Yeah, Dulles, and we were going to Reagan for whatever reason. <laughs> so it, I don't it even know if it would have mattered. Yeah, yeah. No, they're only like 30 minutes apart, so I probably would have made it if we had had a car trouble. But yeah. mm. It's been fun. Yeah. So finally, finally you see each other. Mm. Both look about the same size. About the same. Yeah. yeah. He's a little bit, a little more torso. I'm a little more arm. Torso. <laughs> <laughs> a little more. I thought, the, I thought the leg cracks were coming. <laughs> that don't even make sense. <laughs> yeah. You guys well, I'm just saying your arms are small compared to your torso. Ah, this okay. Well, yeah. And my arms are yeah. too big for my torso. There so you go. I guess both ways. It's all right. Orangutan. Yeah. yeah. Apes together. Oh yeah, I'm I'm one trip away from walking on my knuckles. <laughs> <laughs> it's easy. I dare you for that to be the walkout. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. On all fours. Just <laughs> 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 yeah. We are sponsored by the war. No, what was it? Uh, by the something, war. By the something. War. No, no, the, the <laughs> war of the planet of the apes. What was the movie? After that? I don't Planet know. Of the ice, that's all. So, so somebody who's a former commie should not say we're sponsored by the war. <laughs> <laughs> that is not a good opener. Really. It's well, not a good opener. I think it was pretty good. Yeah. But, uh, I forgot the name of the movie. It is like Logan. It's just Planet of the Ice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I just watched it and I forgot. Yeah. Yeah. No. I, I uh, and then all the armistices were sitting there and I was like, oh, I see a lot of similarities. <laughs> <laughs> I see a lot of similarities. Especially in the surface. <laughs> <laughs> so guys are that far that that far that high. There's a few guys in there that evolution seemed to have skipped a step. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is why they are here. Yeah. <laughs> this is why they are here. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. The beard struggle, ESN, space sports. Those are our main supporters. Mm. Our main sponsors. Thank you very much for supporting this. Uh, I don't even know if we should call this a podcast. Carcast. Carcast. Carpool yeah. Carpool um, karaoke. You, you, a B P all base B plugging. <laughs> is, is that what the trendy kids do now? They just make up acronyms. Yeah. No? Yeah. Okay. Well, it was A B C. Everybody sings Glenn Gary, Glenn Ross. Always be closing. Always be Always closing. closing yeah. Always be closing. Mm-hmm. So anyway, what are we doing tomorrow, guys? Uh, Saturday. Nothing. I don't think so. No, no. <laughs> I don't think anything. What are we, what are we doing on Saturday? What's, 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 what's happening here? Gonna, when was the last time you guys saw each other? East, West, West. Uh, which one was that? You were, you didn't compare. You yeah, were that was like Andre 10? Was it 10? No, it was 10. It was 8. It was, eight. It was eight. last time you pulled there, right? Yeah, yeah what was, was that? East, yeah. West, West, 8. 8. eight. 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 Okay. August? Yeah. Last year. Yeah, yeah. 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 August. It's been about a year. Yeah. But, like, we all meant to have a match four or five years five ago. Five years ago. Yeah, and you got injured and they threw yep. me Micah Yellow instead. Yeah. Um, so, but we're finally the same weight. Yep. Both been arm wrestling for, what, I don't know, eight years now? Coming yep. up? Seven. Yeah, right nine. there. We started right around the same time. Mm-hmm. Yep. That's the interesting part. We're both finally at the same weight. Cause same if we, weight. If it would have happened back then, I think I was even probably smaller. It was, yeah. But I, I maintain that anyone I've... Anyone in my own weight class that's arm wrestled as long as I have, I've never had, had a problem with. So we'll see if that stands true tomorrow. I'm very curious because we've had a very similar kind of linear progression. Mm-hmm. Paul starting with the 95s, I've started with 115. We meet in the middle. Uh, I guarantee you there's a lot of people that has walked up to, to Paul and said, I love you, Lachlan. What? You guys are the same guy. <laughs> the same guy. I have so many times some, some people have like, like misplaced you in their head yeah. they're like, mm-hmm. like you're thinking Paul ah 
Yes, yeah, so yeah. get more ink. And so we, we, yeah. I think we share a, a, a similar like support base. Yeah. yeah. A lot of the guys that, that follow the YouTube stuff and the socials yeah. follow both of us and support both both of what we do on there. Yeah. So yeah. How could they mistake for each other? We all look alike. They're the same guy. You haven't paid attention. <laughs> you haven't paid attention. Yeah. Just like Matt Damon and Marvel Wahlberg. I mean, <laughs> I mean, this is the king of the table to keep the stash. You got the beard. Yeah. yeah, we would have had a full goatee yeah, between us. Yeah. That'd, be the only, that'd be the only way I could pull it off. Yeah, same. <laughs> no, um, I think uh, I think Bowen's got enough of a mustache <laughs> for all of us. Yeah. For all of us. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Except he didn't get harassed. How I got harassed? But he, he, no, he's <laughs> bragging it up in there. He was like, "I finally found my facial hair yeah. like groove. This yeah. is it." Yeah, yeah I did yeah, the I'm same thing. They're like, "No, shave it off immediately." <laughs> I got harassed. So with Bowen, it makes sense because he kind of looks like he'd be doing laps around schools. <laughs> <laughs> Smarties on a fishing line. <laughs> Come here, Junior. <laughs> so we catch add, that, add that to the outtakes. <laughs> <laughs> there is no outtakes. Listen, listen, we've been canceled though, two already. There is no, I made sure that there's no school. <laughs> for at least 400 meters. 400 meters. That's 500 yards for you. Yeah. Hey, he's obviously schoolboy. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even think of it. Well, I didn't even think of it. He's like, you know which match I kind of want? Schoolboy. I don't know why. Don't know. <laughs> She's like, hmm. <laughs> no, it's a nice porn stash. Mm. Pretty good. The only nice porn stash was, what's his name? Ron Jeremy. You. <laughs> I'm appalled. I know that. <laughs> I'm appalled. You know it's so but, fast, but like it's the yeah. like click. But it does it work without a mullet? Is the question. Uh, I could see Ryan with a mullet. Yeah. Can you? Yeah, I, I can. Too. I can. Yeah. I can. Yeah. yeah, I don't want to. No, yeah, I can. No. Yeah. Listen. <laughs> the mullets were again, popular for a while in Australia. Let's move, they? They still let's move they're away from now. Ryan Bowen. Yeah. yeah. I don't United think States. the concept of this particular talk. Is shit on Bowen, <laughs> yeah. right? No, we'll, no, no. Stash we'll get him good. specifically for that yeah. <laughs> separately. Um, okay, guys. So you're up third uh -huh. in the match order. Uh -huh. um, okay, guys. So <laughs> it's usually, usually a good time for me to nap. Yeah, yeah. a bit of a napper pre-match now. I'm a big of a napper. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you're Dave Chafee and I on the same couch. Just <laughs> I called David's yeah. name out and I was like, I better get up. <laughs> it's time for me to go. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I don't think there's a way to avoid the match to go inside. Paul, how do you feel about going, going inside on? Lachlan? Yeah. <laughs> Why is it always inside me? I have to correct people. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's the way it should be. Man's a top. <laughs> Just remember, guys, if you're using lube, it's not true love. <laughs> <laughs> I'll put that spit shine on it. <laughs> oh, my God. I can't. I can't. Okay, talk technically now. <laughs> technically. Uh, no. Are you talking about that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yes. What else would I be talking about? I don't know. I don't, I don't know. know. Like, um, uh, the real question is how you guys going to pay for the ride. <laughs> <laughs> no, if the match uh, goes inside, um, like... How confident do you feel about your ability to pull off? Like I think you you you, you pulled Sasha, he pulled Casimir. Mm -hmm. I don't think there's a big difference between yeah. Sasha and Casimir. Maybe yeah. extra weight. Yeah. Do you think the it should be equal? And what's going to come down? The, the, the arm wrestling math and, and different stuff like that. Who pulls who? We know Krazy and, and Sasha have have had back and forth and mm -hmm. they've had wars and stuff, but they both pull different. So we're only going to know on Saturday. But I mean, that's the biggest question I want answered. Why would, why would we want to? Why would we want to take the match anywhere else? You know. Do you think uh, more pressure on on Lachlan? I don't know. I think we, we talked about that in the interview. I think that's a perception thing. Mm -hmm. I think it depends on how each one of us sees it to ourselves. We're talking about two guys moving weight classes. One coming down. One coming up. Mm -hmm. You know. Um, I think it's you know then then if you read into the polls and what people think. About the match, who should win, who would win, whatever. I don't think I don't think that this should be a super pressure match for either of us. But I'm pretty sure that we're both putting a lot on ourselves anyway. 
who's got more to lose? I think I think it's almost always the bigger guy has something to lose. And even though we're the same size, I've come from being bigger. Um, from so I've kind of had yeah. a lot of exposure and experience pulling the, the bigger guys and then coming down to a weight class. I do believe that should make it a little bit easier for me, but conversely, there's probably a little bit more pressure. But I'm coming into the 105s where Paul is already quite well established in the 95s. So it might be a, um, you know, as I said in the interview, it could be you know, piss off back down in the 95s. <laughs> With all my respect, but well, yeah. that's happening regardless. Of <laughs> yeah, so down. you won't take any credit one way or another. <laughs> no. My next match is at 95, <laughs> and that was set before you. Yeah. Oh, well, there you go. Uh, yeah. Either way, um, I'm just pumped out to have it going on. So yeah, I think it's a mm. perception thing, really. You yeah. know, I, I don't. I, and I think what Locke was saying about the bigger guy and everything else that that holds true. But like from my perspective, a lot of people look at me in the 95s and say I don't belong there. Because I'm water cutting down. To get I'm down one of there. those guys. Yeah, but yeah, and, and look, there's there's a case that could be made. You know, you're the biggest guy in that class. Um, so you know, if this match doesn't go well, it's ah, now look. You know what I mean? We told but, you you can't pull it. But if you do, but extremely I, well, and you feel much better than you felt at 95s, would maybe this be the way you will stay? No. No? Still no. No, I don't think so. I don't. I, I just don't. I mean, I've not. I haven't. I have not been this big since I pulled Brzezink. Mm. Um, and I did not love like my body composition at that time. And I didn't think that the power gain really offset the value of making a cut to 95. Like there was definitely power gain for sure. Um, I was probably my strongest at that weight, but I don't know how that compares comparably. And I don't like my body composition at that weight. So <laughs> maybe some of it's narcissism or just wanting to be healthy, but I'm, I'm, I'm a 95 guy. One, one uh, 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 you know, if, if he does uh, the, uh, 220 class, the 100 class, and I'll probably settle in there. But my going up to 105, I gotta, I gotta eat too much to, to make it. Does it feel heavy on the breathing? And the yeah, that's where it gets weird. Where I feel like I'm not like cardio labored yeah. at times, just doing regular stuff. Hmm. 10 kilos, that's 22 pounds. It's a, it's a lot. Yeah. That's a lot to be. Uh, yeah, but it's you walk around with what? About 215 when I'm eating clean. So, 215, yeah. 218. Uh, I'm walking around like I've been. Same weight now for four months. Um, settled in here at was it 230, 232, something like that. So like 104. Yeah, it's about average for me where I'm waking up. So yeah, and just health-wise, you know, like I, as you know, I've been bigger and does not uh, work well. Get pretty laboured breathing. The ankles aren't as tight. Um, just a worse arm wrestler when I'm heavier. Like the gym lifts are always way up, which is you know, we kind of lean on those and go, yeah, I feel really good. But yeah. As Paul's kind of suggesting, the, the translation over to the table is often not the same. It's not the same, and it's not, not really close. worth it. Yeah. yeah, you're gonna get blown up. You're putting yeah. stress on, on all your organs, and it's just you know finding that that perfect balance. You at 95 and me at 105 between speed, power, yeah. execution, angles, and just Endurance. overall capacity to be able to yeah. pull off techniques because we're better, well connected, and moving much more efficiently. So. I think it's an exciting match. Um, we're, we're just all this Armistead talks putting Don to sleep. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, the main thing is, ten minutes ago, <laughs> we're all nice now, but the second we got on the table, oh yeah, we're oh, yeah, still yeah, gentlemen, yeah. but we yeah. turn it up. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. 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 it's uh, the most fun I get to have all year. Is the ball and just yeah. I think I think it's a <laughs> very necessary match for Armistead World. Very interesting match, and it's a fun match. Like yeah. I, like I don't think there's a lot of pressure for both of you. And there's not a lot to gain, a lot to lose. And I think it's just measuring stick, right? That's why I look at the matches. Of course, you want to win every match. Right? But this is the one that I really hope is just a good freaking match, yeah. one way or the other. That's what I really, I'm really hoping yeah. for something yeah. to like so test I, myself. Like if we stop know, in the middle, you'll see. Yeah. Don's gonna. Yeah, if this want, match is better yeah. than Polaris versus Michael Todd. Don's gonna, you know, put in this Rolls Royce for you, and you can you know, <laughs> cut it how you want. That's no that's problem. that's a tall order though, because I think that match is gonna. Wow. It's going to be wild, but yeah. uh, match of the night um, rewards, Don? No? Yeah, we'll, we'll get you. We're, we're <laughs> sitting in it, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. They got Perhaps. Yeah. Perhaps. 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 We share, Perhaps. We share it from Australia yeah. to the United States. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway, Don, you want to say something? Uh, not really. I mean, you guys... <laughs> <laughs> that looks. Listen, last covered. last week you did slap fighting championship here, right? 
and he got slapped so many times that I, I, I think he needs more. And he looks terrible. I said, drink some coffee because it's too, too many coffees already. So, um, not three coffees. And we have uh, all this to run for next few days, so it will be fun. Yeah, don't miss it. It's gonna be live on pay per view. Lachlan there, Paul Lynn. June first, yes, sir. Big thanks, big thanks for Core Sports for having us, man. It's uh, this is this is bucket list stuff. We're in yeah. Dubai. We're sitting in a Phantom. You know, what? like what, what's what's going on right yeah. now? <laughs> Thank you all to those to all those sponsors to help make that happen. Yeah. So appreciate yeah. you guys. Stay strong, love Armisen. Thank you.